um, the event uh, and uh, and a quick round of introductions as well. Um, uh, we'll come to that shortly. Um, I want to begin uh, by acknowledging that we are on uh, the unceded territory of the indigenous peoples uh, uh, who uh, have inhabited from time immemorial uh, uh, the what uh, Europeans have called the island of Montreal. Um, this, uh, this is a place um, which is at the northern edge of, the, uh, of communities that identify with the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, uh, the Six Nations, uh, and at the uh, southern edge of um, uh, Algonquin uh, Anishinaabe uh, territory. Uh, just downstream from the confluence of the <coughs> Ottawa and Montreal and uh, St. Lawrence rivers, currently in flood, as uh, uh, you may have, uh, I think it's even gotten into some of the international news. Um, that, <coughs> that confluence has been an important meeting place for, uh, for uh, Haudenosaunee, Algonquin, and uh, several other uh, First Nations uh, uh, for centuries and millennia. So I want to start <coughs> with just a, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, a, a few words about who we are as, as Cicada uh, and uh, our affiliation with uh, uh, our co-sponsors of this current meeting, uh, the ICCA Consortium, the Indigenous Peoples and Community Conserved Areas and Territories Consortium. Um, and uh, by way of introduction, I've, I've got something that I realize on this screen is probably not uh, readable uh, from, by everyone in the room. Uh, uh, but it is a, uh, a kind of a schematic uh, which uh, sets forth uh, the mission and the framing of, uh, of Cicada. We are a knowledge co-creation partnership um, which begins with, uh, uh, with uh, indigenous communities, uh, representative organizations uh, in alliance with uh, university-based researchers uh, and with a number of civil society organizations at domestic and international levels. And Cicada uh, starts from uh, the premise of uh, what uh, what we've what we call community life projects, uh, sorry, collective life projects. Uh, so that's that's at the core of our diagram. Um, and uh, collective life projects are a deceptively simple uh, idea uh, because really they are uh, how we uh, try to conceive of. Um, uh, the agendas that indigenous partners uh, uh, carry forth in a number of arenas. But always remembering that uh, these collective life projects are um, embedded uh, within uh, indigenous worldviews, ontologies, uh, with particular uh, uh, ideas about uh, the relationality of indigenous uh, people, of humans in general, uh, as embedded within larger communities of life. Uh, and that that vision involves um, ideas of living well, uh, which uh, are more important than conventional ideas of development. So Cicada, uh, in taking uh, the title, the Center for Indigenous um, uh, Conservation and Development Alternatives, um, is part of that has to do with indigenous uh, conceptions of territorial stewardship, of looking after territories of life, and part of it has to do with uh, how that is practical in terms of striving for 
the good life in as defined uh, within uh, I, indigenous ideas of relationality. Uh, so it informs not only knowledge co-creation co in a narrow sense, but it informs uh, ethics and it informs uh, the politics that flow from uh, both the value and the, and the fact uh, aspect of, of knowledge. Uh, so remembering the moorings of collective life projects uh, in these uh, cultural framings, um, the business of uh, carrying them forward in circumstances of modernity uh, has brought us to engage on a number of axes. Uh, uh, in this corner, uh, where customary tenures, uh, uh, indigenous conceptions of land and sea property meet the problem of territorial rights vis-a-vis -vis states, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, international, the international community of, of nations and states. Um, secondly, how local livelihoods, aspects of food sovereignty, uh, uh, included, um, are grappling with um, other definitions of economic growth, uh, of the economic good. Uh, neoliberal uh, conceptions of uh, uh, perpetual economic growth, for example, the challenges that those conceptions present uh, to the survival of local and regional livelihoods. Um, that in turn, uh, inevitably, with uh, most of our partners, in, in, well, with all of our partners, involves uh, the problem of resource extractive uh, activities on their territories and uh, uh, very commonly uh, conflicts and confrontations uh, around resource extractive activities, mining, hydroelectricity, hydrocarbons, uh, industrial agriculture, industrial fishing, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and the aspect of then of uh, <clears throat> violence and criminalization, which uh, typically accompany those, uh, those encounters around resource extractive conflicts, but also po possibilities for uh, conflict transformation. Uh, a, a fifth uh, uh, axis here um, is, has to do with how community-based stewardship, land and, and sea stewardship, uh, enter into arenas <coughs> of uh, conservation governance, again vis-a-vis -vis states and vis-a-vis -vis international um, <coughs> political and legal regimes. <coughs> so, this is a, <coughs> um, a conceptual uh, model that we began with, <coughs> and um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little ashamed that I haven't managed to update this diagram. It's been a busy, um, a busy uh, year, uh, but <coughs> at our leadership, uh, Cicada leadership meeting, uh, uh, almost a year ago now, uh, we uh, formulated a couple of additional axes that, we, that were felt by Indigenous partners to be, thank you, <coughs> I think I need that. Uh, additional axes that were <coughs> identified as important um, by uh, a number of Indigenous partners. So we're, we're <clears throat> in the process of defining two uh, thematic axes, which are not yet in the diagram, but one is uh, the defense of cultural heritage. And uh, in particular, here we have uh, in mind sacred and ceremonial sites, um, the politicization and legalization of sacred and ceremonial sites, 
um, uh, uh, place names, narrated landscapes, uh, uh, language. So a bundle of, uh, of issues that, that uh, uh, come under the heading of heritage. And uh, then, <clears throat> as well, um, it, it became clear that although indigenous legalities, indigenous laws, interlegalities um, are pertinent to all of the other axes, that it would be uh, worthwhile and valuable to, uh, to define uh, a specific axis for uh, indigenous rights and interlegalities. <clears throat> Uh, so that uh, will increase our, uh, our total of conceptual uh, framings to uh, seven axes, in, in, including the, the starting point of departure of life projects. Um, and we also have what we've called um, methodological axes, which have been very important to our activities from the beginning. Um, although, uh, uh, of course, methodological and theoretical are uh, an artificial separation. Um, uh, but we have been focusing um, uh, particular attention on community mapping, uh, because mapping in, in, um, in, in various senses and in so many ways has been uh, fundamental to the uh, territorial uh, struggles of uh, all of our partners. Uh, and a second methodological uh, axis has to do with, uh, with community video uh, and, and visual uh, uh, methods more generally, uh, which have also been uh, tremendously important, both for uh, the internal uh, communication and organization building of partners and for the, um, uh, the publicizing of uh, and, and public consciousness uh, raising of uh, the situations of our various partners. So that, in a, that's a that's a quick overview of of the of the of the terrain that we attempt to address uh, uh, through through Cicada. And um, uh, I'm going to just uh, uh, offer another slide, which uh, again I think will be hard for some of you further away from the screen to read. Uh, <clears throat> and this one is also incomplete. Uh, there should be a couple of new boxes, and if, it would be even harder to read if there were those two new boxes. So maybe it's a blessing I didn't have time to modify it entirely. But this is the organogram of Cicada. Um, we have uh, in the top uh, row uh, uh, the Research Council uh, of Regional Representatives. So each of the world regions uh, in which Sakata works uh, is represented uh, by uh, one indigenous uh, partner and one uh, university partner. Uh, our meeting today uh, and over the next couple of days uh, concerns uh, two of these boxes, uh, that is uh, Canada and the United States and uh, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, we have been involved in a series of regional conferences. Uh, this was a decision that came out of our leader, leadership meeting uh, early last summer. Uh, and we've completed two of those meetings now. In October, uh, we had a regional meeting in Colombia at uh, Fusagasuga uh, near Bogota uh, with uh, Latin, all Latin American partners. That was followed in November uh, by a meeting in Ethiopia for African partners. Uh, and we, uh, we decided for this third regional meeting to combine the, the settler states, uh, given some of the common dynamics and, uh, and concerns of Canada, the US, uh, Australia, and New Zealand. Um, we On the bottom row, we have um, divided ourselves into groups which are, reflect the previous diagram. Uh, 
Um, oh, I should just mention that uh, uh, last, at our leadership meeting last summer, we also have defined an additional, to some extent, cross-cutting uh, regional group, the Circumpolar North. Um, and um, someone who's not uh, uh, with us today, Eileen Piala, has been uh, central in that, and David Anderson and Rob Wishart, uh, also uh, uh, important uh, in the leadership of that new region, which will emerge in due course, or will become more defined in due course. Um, I then have uh, in the um, in the bottom row listed the leaders of of the various uh, thematic axes and methodological axes of of Cicada, minus the two that uh, uh, we have uh, uh, that I mentioned in connection with the previous slide that have been added, uh, but not to, not yet to the diagram. So that's moving. Um, Oh, and um, in the center of this diagram, um, uh, assisting me as, uh, as uh, leader of, the, uh, uh, of CICADA, uh, as director of CICADA, uh, our acting uh, coordinator, Stephen Schnur, back in this corner of the room. Um, Stephen has uh, really graciously uh, over the last few months, agreed to step in. Uh, to, to, he stepped out of his normal role as uh, as a research associate with Cicada uh, into a position of, of acting coordinator. Uh, we had um, uh, a, a sudden resignation of uh, of our uh, of our program coordinator. Uh, we have not yet uh, filled that position. We, our ears are open, uh, ears are to the ground for um, uh, uh, promising candidates for that position, and we intend to, uh, uh, to proceed over the next two or three months to fill it. But in the meantime, we're extremely grateful to Stephen for having uh, 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 picked up that load, and uh, this, uh, the fact that we are sitting here today is due in no small measure to, uh, to Stephen's efforts and also to uh, the efforts of our administrative officer, Lucia Justo. Um, and uh, yes, uh, you, you, you know how many uh, long hours Lucia's been putting in uh, to, 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 uh, to get this to happen. Uh, and um, uh, I also want to mention someone who's come on with temp on a temporary basis, uh, but has been working very intensively and productively with us, Marilyn Sarazin who is, yeah, over in that. This room has got this large column here, which makes it impossible for <laughs> to see everyone. Uh, but uh, you will uh, certainly be, uh, if you have not already, uh, be in conversation with Marilyn. <coughs> Excuse me. OK, so that, um, that will do by way of uh, overview, I think. Um, uh, I think it, it would be good. I certainly there are a few new, a few faces here who are new to me, and um, um, I think it would be um, valuable to. Although it it will take a few minutes, and time is is precious here, but it would be valuable if we could do maybe a quick round uh, in the room. And given given the visual obstruction, I'm not sure the best way to do this, maybe just to speak up, uh, so at least your voice can be heard if, you're, if your face cannot be seen. Um, but uh, just state to state your name and your affiliation. I think that's, we would have time for that. We're probably about 40 people. Ah, okay, great. Just, just saying we have wireless microphones. We have half a dozen wireless mics in the room, so if your table doesn't have a mic, the neighboring table probably does. Uh, just for the translation, it's better if we use the microphones instead of speaking loudly. Uh, and they're very simple to operate, a little button on and turn it off. So I don't know if you want to start at one side of the room, Colin, or what's your plan? Sure, is. let's just go okay, more so or less. Start with uh, Clint. Good morning. Left or right. Hello, I'm Clint Westman, uh, University of Saskatchewan here in Canada. Janelle Baker, Athabasca University. 
David Anderson, University of Aberdeen in Scotland. Uh, Rob Wisher, University of Aberdeen in Scotland. Sarah Moritz, McGill University. Good morning, Etienne roy um uh, formerly of the University of Ottawa, just starting a postdoctorate at uh, McGill. I'm Catherine Cummins. I'm Research Coordinator and Asia Pacific Program Coordinator at Mining Watch Canada, based in Ottawa, Canada. Uh, my name is Vivian Weitzner. I'm a postdoc researcher here, um, working with Colin um, in the anthropology department. Hello, my name is Tora Hermann. I'm at the University of Montreal and also a member of Wapishkus. Uh, good morning, my name is Rod. I'm from Six Nations of the Grand River and I work with Deb McGregor at York University. Good morning, I'm Alice Damiano. I'm a student at McGill University. Bonjour, my name is Dolores André. I'm, the, uh, I'm here for, to represent the Wapishkus, which is the Inno Sacred Sites Guardians. Thank you. I go and marry Andre and Nagahan. I didn't know Chinua had Wapskusuni. Quay, mon nom, c'est Jean. Je viens de. Je suis avec le groupe Wapskus, gardien des sites. À quoi j'ai dit, non, et Tabi, Jacques Tabi, mais je viens de la communauté de Mario Tenamouat. Je fais partie du groupe Wapskos, gardien des sites sacrés. Merci. Euh, bonjour tout le monde, mon nom c'est Christian Coucou, je suis de la nation Atikamek. Alana Kwok, je suis avec le Taltan Central Government in Northern British Columbia, Canada. Good morning, I'm Brian Tom. I'm in the anthropology department at the University of Victoria uh, and at the UVix Ethnographic Mapping Lab. Kathleen Johnny, I'm the CEO for the Hulkaminam Lands and Resources Society, which is a group of uh, traditional land use practitioners who want to bring the Hulkaminam language back into their traditional practices. And I am the co-chair of the Canada USA region and I'm not still quite sure what that means. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I'm Ray De Silva. I'm from the Torres Strait Regional Authority in far north Queensland, Australia. Good morning. Um, my name is Hilda Mosby. I'm from the Torres Strait region. I'm from York Island, one of the islands in the Torres Strait. And um, I do have other roles on the Torres Strait Regional Authority Board as well. Um, it's, it's all. Uh, bonjour, uh, my name is Annick Thomas. I'm at the Australian National University and until not too long, for not too long at McGill University. So. Catherine Scott, I'm uh, at McGill University and, but I live and work with the Cree Nation of Wiminji in Northern Quebec. Uh, kia ora tato, ko Marama Muru Toku Ingwa. Uh, I'm Marama from New Zealand and I'm at the University of Auckland. Kia ora. Good morning, uh, my name is Dini Babuk, uh, Northern Australia, uh, representing uh, Indigenous Land Management in the Wadding and Land area. Thank you. Yeah, good morning. Uh, John Altman, I'm um, from the Australian National University in Australia. Rodney Mark, Rodney Mark, <laughs> Director of uh, Social and Culture for the Regional Cree Nation Government. Bonjour à tous, Geneviève Motor, Faculté de Droit, Université Laval. Hi, I'm Christy Franks at Concordia University here in Montreal. Hi, I'm Faisal Moula, I'm an ethnocologist at the University of Guelph in Canada. Hi, bonjour. I'm Luka Vietsky. Um, I'm a PhD student at the University of Guelph. Well, 
Hi, I'm Stan Stevens, ICCA Consortium and also the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Morning, Gleber Gradiski um, with Environmental Monitoring and Science Division, Government of Alberta, um, and also affiliate with the University of Victoria. I'm, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm Mike Ferguson. I'm with the Krikatalik Wildlife Board and the Inuit uh, Regional Wildlife Organization in Nunavut, Canada. Hi, bonjour. Benoit Etier, École d'études autochtones à l'Université de Québec, en Abitibi-Témiscamingue. Hi, bonjour. My name is Paul Watté. I'm a PhD student in the Department of, of Anthropology at the University of Montreal. Hi, Sarah Teitelbaum, uh, Sociology Department at University of Montreal. Bonjour, Sébastien Cacar, Université Concordia, ici à Montréal. Teresa Ocart, I'm interested in maps. <laughs> Rebecca Harden, anthropologist, uh, auparavant à Montréal, maintenant à l'Université de Michigan, Ann Arbor, et j'enseigne dans une école d'environnement et durabilité, anthropologist in sustainability in Michigan. Be back in Montreal. Bonjour, hi, Caroline Desbiens, professeur au département de géographie de l'Université Laval à Québec. <laughs> hi, I'm Monica Mulrennan from Concordia here in Montreal. Morning, everyone. My name is Georgia Lloyd Smith. I'm a lawyer at West Coast Environmental Law, which is in Coast Salish territories or Vancouver, BC. And we're a new ICCA member, so come say hi. Good morning. I'm Vulu Luna, um, member de the du consortium MAPAC from Madagascar. And je suis aussi à l'Université Laval. Uh, au, à l'École supérieure des études internationales. Bonjour, moi c'est Laetitia, je suis au doctorat en anthropologie à l'Université Laval. Bonjour, uh, Véronique Bussière, I'm a doctoral student here at Concordia University in Montreal. I'm also a um, conservation coordinator with La Société pour la nature et les parcs du Québec, that's the Quebec chapters of Canadian Parks and Wilderness Society. Scanus Ogrego. Uh, my English name is Darren Thomas. My real name is Yon Jesse. I'm a lecturer and a, a PhD student at uh, Wilfrid Laurier University. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Terry Mitchell, and I work at Laurier University and with Matawa First Nations and other indigenous groups in South America in partnership with some of our other members. Amazing gathering. Thank you. Uh, hello, I'm Jennifer Duncan, and I work with the Matawa First Nations in uh, Northern Ontario. Bonjour, hello, my name is Niso Navigan. I am Anishinaabe from Long Lake 58 First Nation. I am the Environmental Monitor and Technician Trainee for Greenstone Gold. Thanks. I think that's it. Did we miss anyone? Uh, over in this corner. In the far corner, <laughs> and you have a there too, but Pierre. Right. My name is uh, Pierre Yves Serine. Um, I'm uh, with the education team, but I just uh, I'm very happy to be here because I was coordinating last year the Global Forest Coalition event here against uh, CBD in front of CBD. So uh, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Nafisa. I'm a PhD student at Concordia. Um, I've been working with the uh, Green Nation of Womenji as well. But you can also find me with your presentations throughout the uh, week. Thank you. Did we get Nicola uh, Protec? Nicola's on camera, but yeah, I'll give her the mic. And Layla. Where's Layla? Put you on the spot. Yeah. 
Hello, I'm Nicola. I'm an undergraduate in anthropology at McGill and filming you all. And we have Nick in the corner. Hi, I'm Nicola. I'm a PhD candidate at McGill University. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, in the corner here, do you want to? I'll give you this mic here. <laughs> Hi, uh, Heather Oje, envi Environmental Monitor from Big Stone Cree Nation, uh, Wabasca, Alberta. Thank you. The, maybe the translate, the interpreting team could uh, introduce themselves as well. Sure, okay, so we'll run back here for the translators, give them double duty. Did you introduce yourselves? Okay, we have some. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Layla. I'm a PhD student at Concordia with Monica, and I'm very happy to be here with all of you. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm doing, I'm in law school at McGill, and I'm very interested in environmental and indigenous rights, and I'm doing a research assistantship with Cicada right now. And the translators. Uh, I'm Andres, I'm a PhD student at Concordia. Bonjour, hi, uh, Fanny Poirier, translator, interpreter, traductrice, interprète. Isabelle, Isabelle Martigliani, uh, membre de l'équipe des traducteurs, interprètes aussi. Uh, good morning, Quay, uh, Raymond Robitaille, uh, interpreter. I work with uh, the CBD, IAFB, and uh, also here in Quebec. Great. Um, have we have we got everyone? Okay. So <clears throat> I just um, also wanted to mention. I mentioned uh, earlier some some thanks to members of the uh, the kind of core organizing team. Uh, but there are numerous people, uh, visible and invisible, uh, who've uh, made this uh, event uh, possible, some of whom have just introduced themselves. Uh, 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 Nicola, Nic uh, two Nicolas, <laughs> uh, <coughs> Sophie, uh, Leila, uh, and uh, Nafisa. Uh, and, um, uh, several others. Uh, many colleagues have uh, taken a, a very active role in helping us to uh, uh, define this event, uh, which uh, we're going to uh, uh, turn to uh, shortly. Um, but I wanted to uh, uh, first uh, give the uh, mic uh, to, uh, uh, to Lucia, who has a few administrative issues to uh, uh, raise with us all. Thank you, Colin. Uh, bonjour tous, tout le monde. Uh, ça nous fait un grand plaisir de vous accueillir uh, ici aujourd'hui. Hi, uh, everyone. I'm very happy. We're very happy you're here today, as Colin uh, said. Uh, welcome to our meeting uh, for in of Indigenous and research partners from Canada, the US, Australia, and New Zealand. Um, before we move on, um, well, we've prepared this conference as well, as Colin uh, well remarked, with our partner, the ICCA Consortium. Um, before we get started, I need to, to give you some important information that I believe it's, uh, some of you have already asked to our um, girls here in the, in the um, uh, registration table. Uh, so, well, all of you, you are uh, caring, you are um, wearing a name tag, right? So it's uh, pretty important that you wear it at all times because the, the hotel is running several events during the week. So uh, when we go to have lunch at the restaurant, that will be your, your, your thing to show. Those who are sleeping at the hotel, who are uh, doing uh, the lodging here, well, you have a blue spot on your name tag, right? Those who are sleeping at the hotel, uptown, uptowners, people who are from Montreal, they don't have it. Those, uh, those uh, blue uh, stickers are uh, the, the thing that will identify you for the dinner that will be served at the hotel every night at 7 p.m. 
I think it starts 6.30, but it's best if you go 7 p.m. Okay, um, um, what else? Well, we are, uh, as my colleague uh, Marilyn said, we have a, a set of headsets, uh, you know, for translation. Please use them, wear them for those who, who need it. We, um, for, for these, uh, we also ask you, uh, I'll give the word now to, to the team for the translation to, to give you more detail about it. But basically, they're collecting your IDs and you keep it for the whole day. If you're not using it, please leave it on the table. If you're taking it with you for the breakouts, we'll have small uh, breakout sessions in parallel running. So uh, it'll be important that you keep it and you hand it back to the translation team at the end of each, of each day, okay? Don't take it with you, please. And uh, well, very important, I think, it's a security protocol, just in something happens, knock on wood, but we never know. Uh, there's uh, speakers all around. They will tell us what to do. There's uh, stairs of emergency at the end of the hall, just in case. The bathrooms are on the left, men and women. Um, what else am I forgetting? Uh, the breakfast, for those who are staying at the hotel, it's open at 6.30 a.m., right? So feel free to go. And uh, some of you have asked for uh, having printed copies of the program. Well, we're trying to run it uh, paperless, a paperless conference. So uh, we're going to project the, the, the program at all times here. It will be displayed here so everybody knows what's going to happen next during the conference. Those who really need it in paper, well, we have uh, for sure some copies, just come to me. By the way, if you didn't see, I'm Lucia Justo, working for Cicada. And um, I think that's it. Please keep your presentations not uh, to a maximum of 10 minutes. That's pretty important, please. And uh, Nafisa, Nafisa, there at the end of the room, she'll be in charge of collecting and loading your PowerPoint presentations. So uh, please uh, come to her uh, when you are going to present and just so she can put it in the screen and everything. Um, okay, I'll give now the, the word to uh, Raymond Robitaille. He's in charge of the translations team. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone, again. Uh, I'll, I'll say this in English and then I'll say it in French just in case the equipment isn't working. So um, if you need translation, uh, this is the equipment that you should have if you need to listen in English, like if you don't understand French. And uh, if it ever goes, if ever you have any kind of problem with the equipment, please raise your hand. There, there are three of us that are, that can, we, we want to uh, resolve these problems as soon as they occur, if they occur. There's uh, Pierre-Yves, Andres, who is in the corner there, and myself also. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll try to resolve the problem as fast as we can. So we have two different systems, one for French, one for English, here in the big room. And when we go to workshops, we ask you, if you leave the room, just please leave your, the headsets you have here, because we have other equipment uh, in the rooms for, for translation. Okay, uh, the other thing is uh, um, it's if you have problems with the volume, you, it's the arrow that goes up and down that uh, you can control. And uh, if it goes off, you can turn it on with the button in the middle. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Uh, Est-ce que des gens ont entendu la traduction? Ceux qui comprennent pas l'anglais, ils ont entendu la traduction? Ça veut dire que vos équipements fonctionnent bien ce qui est un bon signe. Euh, si jamais vous avez un problème avec l'équipement, que vous ne vous entendez pas bien, faites-nous le savoir aussitôt que possible. Il euh, y a moi-même, il y a Pierre-Yves et Andrés. Euh, nous sommes là pour euh, euh, régler le problème. On ne veut pas que vous manquiez quoi que ce soit dans la conférence. Alors, euh, puis aussi, euh, quand euh, il va y avoir les ateliers, s'il vous plaît, si vous quittez la salle, laissez votre équipement, votre, vos écouteurs ici, on en a d'autres pour les salles, euh, dans les salles. Fait que vous les laissez sur votre table, puis euh, vous les reprenez. Euh, après, quand on revient en plénière. Et, puis je pense que c'est tout. Merci. Thank you. 
Uh, perhaps inevitably we're uh, behind schedule already. Um, I do, however, need to say a couple of things. Uh, looks like my notes have disappeared with someone's papers, uh, but uh, I will remember them. Um, one is um, that um, um, we have a number of people here who uh, are maybe, well, several who are strongly connected going back years uh, with Cicada and an antecedent, antecedent project. We have a number of other people who are with us for the first time. We have a number of people who are members of the ICCA consortium um, and others who uh, may be interested in uh, membership in the ICCA consortium. Uh, we're in a process of, uh, of uh, gathering momentum. We're in just the second year of our uh, full funding as Cicada. Um, uh, our funding is principally from the Fonds de Recherche du Québec, Société et Culture. Uh, we also, for this event, have funding from the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council, supplementary funding, but the principal funding is coming from the Quebec Agency. Um, and we have planned this, um, this meeting in conjunction with uh, two other events. Uh, on the 4th, the entire day will be devoted to a regional meeting of the ICCA consortium. Sakata is an institutional member of the ICCA consortium. That consortium is, uh, I would say, the leading international advocacy body, alliance of indigenous peoples, uh, pushing for uh, indigenous defined uh, conservation territories. Um, so it does an, ex it does an extremely important uh, job um, uh, on all our behalves. Uh, and its themes uh, so, so perfectly overlap the themes of Cicada uh, that we have uh, been working through our series of regional meetings uh, on a collaborative relationship. Um, Cicada is oriented more to grounded uh, grassroots research and, and carrying agendas forward, but that entails carrying agendas forward in domestic and international political arenas, and that really is the expertise of the ICCA Consortium. Uh, the ICCA Consortium was um, more visible in the actual organizing and and day-to-day uh, -day running of our regional meetings in uh, Colombia and in Ethiopia. Uh, and, and there's a reason for that, which is that the, um, the, uh, the alliance in those regions uh, is, is more consolidated than it is in, in Canada and the US. And the consortium on the 4th uh, of May uh, will be uh, welcoming not only uh, uh, members who, ha who have a history of engagement from Canada and the US with the consortium, uh, and, and I think our colleagues from Australia and New Zealand uh, will also be welcome, and to some extent I think the consortium's presence in, in Australia and New Zealand is comparable to that of Canada uh, and the US. Um, particular structural reasons for that that we don't have time to go into now, but um, that, uh, if you want to know more about the consortium and its advocacy and policy work, um, uh, the, um, I know that you will be welcome uh, uh, to join uh, the discussions on the 4th. Um, the, the ICCA consortium, like Cicada, um, is in a process of regionalization currently, and defining their, their, their uh, political procedures and constitutional procedures region by region. They, they did that in, in Colombia, they did that in Ethiopia, they, they, and, and discussions on the fourth here will be uh, also in that, in that spirit. Um, beyond the fourth, then from the fifth to the eighth, uh, Cicada and the consortium have been uh, involved in organizing a North American dialogue on biocultural diversity. And that uh, is, 
is pitched both domestically and internationally, but probably with the emphasis on, on progress uh, in, in international arenas, um, both toward the 2020 Aichi targets for uh, uh, extensive protection of, uh, of the terrestrial and marine areas of the planet, uh, and the, the ways that indigenous uh, uh, peoples and the Indigenous Alliance, represented by the consortium, have been uh, have been intervening in those uh, in those uh, international policy processes, but also beyond and maybe more importantly beyond 2020, the die has largely been cast uh, for uh, progress to the 2020 targets. But but beyond uh, 2020 is now entering into the conversation, and um, and so we have. Um, Sakata has really co-organized that event with the Convention on Biodiversity Office here in Montreal, and in particular uh, with the uh, uh, leadership of uh, John Scott, who's uh, an Australian Aboriginal uh, 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 person who has been involved with indigenous knowledge dimensions of the CBD's work uh, for many years now, and based in Montreal. And John will be joining us uh, at some point during the next two or three days, but Will uh, has agreed to give us a few words on the third about uh, uh, the articulation of this event and the ICCA consortium's deliberations in, with uh, what the CBD is involved in. A number of other important partners are involved in that second meeting from the 5th to the 8th, uh, including um, the uh, Quebec Centre for Biodiversity Sciences, which is, is a, a Quebec-wide uh, group, but uh, based with headquarters at McGill. Um, the uh, Parks Canada is involved, the Canadian Parks and Wilderness Society, uh, the Assembly of First Nations, uh, the American Museum of Natural History, uh, and, and others. Let me turn to today's agenda, and, and uh, we should, uh, of course, be uh, trying to make up some time, <clears throat> but the basic design, and this, this is um, uh, coming out of uh, uh, advice that um, we received uh, at our leadership meeting last June, um, that we need more time for discussion, for strategizing. Um, uh, there's a tendency when we have so many people uh, coming from so far to want to give everybody the podium for a good piece of, a good chunk of time. But when we've done that in the past, we've ended up basically with a rather conventional set of conference presentations and not enough time really to get our teeth into, uh, into the issues. Um, and so it's a, it's a tough, it's always a tough balancing act, but if we want uh, to actually, uh, as we do, uh, work toward uh, some concrete um, strategizing, we need time to actually really workshop it and, and not just hear. We need to hear a little bit about one another, especially those of us who are new uh, uh, to this group, uh, but um, with just enough background really to, to, to launch uh, into uh, freer discussion. Uh, we will have um, uh, note takers and recorders uh, in each of our uh, 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 breakout sessions. But the basic design of the meeting uh, will, uh, for the next uh, uh, three days, uh, will involve will involve uh, panels uh, with a number of, uh, of brief five to ten minute uh, 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 portraits of, of particular cases, um, followed by uh, coffee and, and then breakout groups where we brainstorm the theme that the panel uh, has just addressed. And then we reconvene uh, and report back. So we're repeating that um, we're repeating that pattern through a number of themes. If we can go just to the top to the first theme, I think further up. Okay. So um, 
Uh, this morning, protecting territories and ways of life, indigenous governance, conservation, land and sea management is the first, uh, co-chaired by Monica Mulrennan and Thora Herman. If we can go now to the next. Uh, this afternoon, <coughs> oh, sorry, thanks. Livelihoods and states of physical, cultural, and spiritual well-being, strategies for food sovereignty uh, and security, etc. cetera, uh, chaired by John Altman. If we, and can scroll down to, to tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we open with indigenous rights and interlegalities. I mentioned the new uh, thematic uh, uh, axis, uh, co-chaired by Kirsten Anker and Vivian Weitzner. Um, and in the afternoon, uh, territorial defense in extractive contexts, uh, chaired by Clint Westman. Finally, on Friday, uh, we have uh, uh, a panel uh, on experiences, limitations, challenges, and opportunities in protected areas and conserved territories, uh, chaired by Thora Herman and Monica Mulrennan. And in the afternoon, um, uh, audiovisual and mapping technologies and methodologies as tools of empowerment, uh, chaired by Stephen Schnur and uh, Sebastian Kakar. Then, uh, to, to, to end the afternoon, um, um, we will uh, uh, reconvene and report back and uh, try to consolidate the lessons that we want to take from this meeting uh, forward. And forward not only into the um, North American Dialogue on Biocultural Diversity, uh, but forward into the many arenas of, uh, of our work. Um, we considered having a, trying to bring together uh, the leaders of all of our axes and uh, main participating team projects, and we decided it was just too much to do at this time. We've already got eight days. For some of, some of us are already going to be here for the full eight days, and to have added a day or two for, for a leadership meeting such as we had last June would have been, I think, uh, just uh, broken the camel's back. So what we have decided uh, is to later this year or, or very early in 2020 to convene a full uh, leadership meeting. Our leadership meetings include the, um, uh, the, regional, the council, Research Council of Regional Representatives, the thematic axis leaders uh, and um, the uh, directors of major uh, team projects that are under the Cicada umbrella. Those in themselves are events of 30 to 40 people. Um, and uh, from, the, from the council, um, uh, today we just have a couple of people. For, for Canada, the US, Kathleen Johnny um, uh, and uh, uh, Sylvie Poirier uh, from Université Laval uh, is not here yet, but I think she's joining us later today. She is the university representative on that council. Uh, for um, uh, Australia and New Zealand, we currently just have the academic member, John Altman. Uh, we had uh, a Torres Strait Islander, Kenny Bedford, who was, uh, was the other member of that council, but he has, uh, he has withdrawn, and so we need another indigenous, sorry? We have, so, we, so we'll, be, uh, we'll, we'll be discussing uh, how we go uh, going forward um, in terms of, uh, my wife uh, is correcting me or, or <laughs> making sure I don't put my foot in a deep hole, I think. <laughs> Sorry, did you? Um, yeah, we, we, need to, we need to have a discussion, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, on that note, this would be an excellent time to uh, begin our first <laughs> begin our first panel. Um, oh, I, d I do want to mention one other thing. In on the horizon, uh, beyond our leadership meeting, uh, we we think we have the funds and the energies for one within our current cycle of five six years of funding, one, uh, another global conference. We had a global conference uh, a couple of years ago. Um, 
And the thinking is that that would be late 2020, or maybe early 2021, uh, probably in Mexico. There's been some of our partners in Mexico have expressed uh, enthusiastic interest in hosting um, our, our next global conference. And we'll have more to say as we go about how that articulates with a number of uh, other kind of uh, international meetings that have to do with our, with our themes.